Great. So let's take a look at the software for the Nokia N9. Okay. So now you'll notice that the, that the screen is on standby mode. You see the time. If you had new SMSs, missed calls, voicemail, they would all show up as icons. You can push the power button to unlock the screen, or you can just double, double tap. When you're on this uh, wallpaper mode, you can slide your finger up, and you get a shortcut bar for the, the frequently used functionality. Or you simply swipe it away, and you get to the home screen. We have three home screens that are just gotten by swiping around. The first is the notification and events, which shows your missed calls, your SMSs, your voicemail, as well as an area for social network feeds, Twitter, Facebook, or news or other things. Developers can publish to that if you want to have news, sports scores, or other things. And tapping on the Facebook updates, for example, launches the Facebook app, etc., etc. Next is the um, app grid. Basically, all the apps that you download, install, or that are on the device. Very simple, very clear. You can go and move things around if you want, but we've tried to just keep it simple. You have quick access to, to um, your apps. Okay, uh, is there a folder functionality We're for that? We're currently not supporting that. We, we're studying that. One of the things that we have heard, though, is that users often get a little bit lost with folders, that if they're pre, pre-made folders, they don't exactly understand the logic, so we're keeping it simple. One of the things is to make it easy to use. So you can just launch an app, like for example, here's a um, Compass app, which uses the um, magnometer on the device to give um, compass directions. When you're in an app, you can swipe to the left, swipe to the right, swipe down, or swipe up, and that just basically tosses the app to the background. And then you swipe to the third home screen, which is the um, multitasking view. The apps are live when they're that in that mode, so you can see the compass moves in the multitask view. Any app that's live will be live in the multitasking view. How many applications can it run multitask? It's only limited by the amount of memory that they consume. So I've easily gotten more than 25 apps without any problem. Um, but after that point, it becomes a little bit more unusable. So, so basically, we figure people will be run, running between 5 to 10 apps. Um, and, and the nice thing is, is that when you have the apps running, then you can either tap for multitasking very easily or just tap the app from the app grid and it starts right away. So um, how do we close the application? You simply go to the multitask view, you do a long press, and you close the app, or you could close them all. And I understand you can actually like make it smaller or something? Yep. So if you have a lot of apps running, you can show up to nine on one single screen, and then after that they scroll. All right. So you can pinch and zoom. Brilliant. Okay, so so that's basic overview of the whole app. When, when you are in an app, like I said, you can swipe it away or so, or um, push up in any direction and it gets you back to the home screen that you were on. Um, we do a lot of interesting things with different apps. So for example, if you are in, R, R, in the um, RSS reader, so you're looking at the latest news headlines, when you're reading a story, you can just swipe to the next story. It's the same thing in email. When you're in an email, you can just swipe to get to the next email. When you're in the new music player, we have fast forward and rewind buttons. But if you pick an app, a song, you can swipe to next and then swipe to get it away or bring it back. All right. So so to swipe it away is actually from the H exactly. away, right? And actually to swipe for, for like the different songs, it's actually from the side. Yes. Exactly. Left and right. Oh, okay. And that's that works in the browser. That works in. Um, Can maps. you show us the browser? Okay, let's sh- let's see the maps. Okay, first. so so this is using Nokia Maps. All of the maps will be preloaded for the region when you buy the phone. If you want to install new regions, you can install them for free over Wi-Fi. If you want to install new languages for navigation, you can do that over Wi-Fi as well. So, if you notice, it just zooms, finds your location, and zooms in. You can pinch zoom in and out. And you can do a two-finger rotation if you want to rotate around. Um, 
we have 3D maps, and the 3D maps also show up in navigation. So when you're driving through skyscrapers, you see them actually on the map. Um, <clears throat> you can see what's around you. It'll go and fetch the points of interest, show you good things to see, places to eat, etc. And then you can get free navigation. You get uh, walking navigation, driving navigation, or public transportation navigation to all of those for free for the lifetime of the device. Is there any turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation? Yes, that's for free. So what we have done is optimize that <coughs> excuse me, in, a, in the Drive app. So that's finger optimized, so when you're driving, you can use it easily. It, uh, the, the buttons and so on are a little bit bigger because you, you don't want to have to be fussing so much when you are driving. Okay. And and it all comes with the with the phone then? Yes, all, all right. for free. Brilliant. Um, so now we don't really need a GPS system no. anymore. Exactly. <laughs> all right. What else? Um, the browser. How about the, the browser? browser. Let's so this is uh, the first mobile WebKit 2 browser. It uh, supports HTML and um, also what it does is you can open multiple browser windows. So here I open a new window and open CNN. And then they show up as separate windows in the multitasking view. That means that each web page is like a separate app. So you can have uh, as many web pages open running in a separate window as, as you like. If there are web pages that you like to visit a lot, you can add to apps. And that basically will create a shortcut on your home screen with an icon. So then it, it is for the most part just like another app. So is this what the Nokia was talking about, the web app uh, capabilities? Or is web, this something yeah, else? Um, well, uh, the programming language also supports that where you can use JavaScript and HTML5 to create apps, and we have tools to easily make that for any publisher and put, put that to the OB store. But also, this feature makes the, the web act like an app. And I'm speechless. <laughs> All right. Um, so, can, can you show us? I, I want to continue on with the browser. Can you okay. show us? Um, like for the HTML5, uh, the capabilities for HTML5. So one of the things that we always like to do is actually go to HTML5test.com. Okay. So can you just type that in? So you can see it's a loading page, Ooh, and really? it's 257 plus 14 bonus points. That's a huge improvement. Yes. That's a major huge improvement from the previous Symbian, Symbian Free even. Yep. Right. So um, fantastic. Anything else with this fantastic phone? <laughs> um, I, I guess one final thing is we could show how NFC works. All right, before that, before you show the NFC, yes. could you play a video okay. and you know show how smooth and responsive it is when you change, uh, you know, when you swipe away from the video? Right. So with the um, we support all major video player formats, and, and the operating system allows you to install other codecs. So we'll be bringing other codecs involved um, as we go forward. Uh, so, so, so importantly, AV, AVI, um, DivX, time. Yes. DivX yes. MP4, H.264, MP, yes. yep. um, AVC for, for the audio codec. I have to check on that. I okay. don't remember. So right, right now we're playing a video. We support Dolby surround sound on this. So if you have a headset you, and you have a video that's encoded with surround sound, you'll hear it. And as the video is playing, you can swipe it away and you see how it behaves. Then you go back, push play again. So I noticed it actually automatically pause yes. when you yeah. flip away. Right. That is something I, I, I think it's, it's great. Yes. And then also we support this idea where you can click for information that says Fast and the Furious, and it goes and pulls related videos from YouTube down here. So if you wanted to see one of those videos, you could. All right, let's take a look at the Nokia N9's uh, NFC capabilities. Show us. Okay, so, so here we've also um, launched these Bluetooth speakers. Uh, you can either have one or two when you turn them on. If you have two of them, they automatically pair up and turn left and right. So for NFC, all you have to do is 
touch and hold the phone, NFC comes up, it creates a Bluetooth connection, and then they're paired. So then you can just go over and push music, and the um, music plays through the music player. Go back. Make more music, and they play through the Bluetooth speakers, and then you can just tap again, and they disconnect. Very simple. NFC, it would work the same with Bluetooth headsets, if you have one of our Bluetooth NFC headsets. You never have to worry about turning Bluetooth on or off, all you have to do is tap, and it goes. It works. And we will also support picture sharing, contact sharing, and other information sharing with other phones just by tapping and you share. And that's the Nokia N9. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thank you.